What up, everybody? Instruct the beat back again uh, here with our tape diagram unit. Today, we're going to be talking about using a part whole model for adding and subtracting. So, just a quick run through of what a part whole model is and how it can help us. Today, I will be able to create a part whole model to help me visually show what is happening in my problem. So, first of all, what is a part whole model? Okay, a part whole model is a visual model to help us understand what is happening in our word problem. And we use it for a very specific type of word problem, and we'll talk about that in a second. But basically, you're drawing a bar or a tape. Some people call it a bar model. Some people call it a tape diagram. And you're showing the relationship between the parts of a number and the whole. So for instance, if I make this part 3, okay, this next part would be a little bit bigger, maybe 5. And this one is smaller than the 3, so it could be maybe be a 1. Okay. When you add all those parts together, your whole entire tape diagram or part whole model would be equal to 9. So with a part whole model, you're able to show the parts and how they're separate, but when you add them together, it makes the whole. You're showing that relationship. Let's take a look at using it in a word problem. All right, so for this one, I'm uh, typically I do size check, but I'm just going to focus on the word problem here. Okay, So you're going to use a part whole model when you're trying to find the total. So here it says Javier has seven red balloons and four blue balloons, how many does he have in total, right? I'm bringing things together. So my part whole model would have two parts, okay? The seven red balloons, so let's you know, just make that part seven, and we could put red up here. And the four blue balloons, we could put blue right here, okay? So I'm showing the parts and labeling it. And then you want to know what the total is. You want to know how many balloons he has. So you're looking for the whole, okay? Well, if you add up seven plus four, your answer would be 11. So this entire tape diagram is equal to 11. You're visually showing what's happening in the word problem, and then you're seeing the, how the parts make the whole. Now sometimes, though, you're going to be finding that missing piece. So let's take a look at this one. Same type of question. It says Javier has 12 balloons, and he gave away three. So when you're giving away three, I'm going to annotate that probably with the subtraction sign, and you want to know how many he has left. Okay, well, typically you might see that we're left and know you're subtracting, but we want to prove that with a visual model. So again, we're going to do our part whole model. Okay, All the balloons he had were equal to 12. So now we know the total. We know how big our tape diagram is. Okay, So that's our 12 part. He gave away three of those. So if my whole thing's 12, I know three is probably a little bit smaller than 12. right? So this is what he said gave away. And then this is how much he would have left. Because if you added up what he had left with how much he gave away, it should equal 12. So what my tape diagram here is telling me is this is the equation. Something plus 3 equals a total of 12. So now that you're able to do that, you can solve this in two different ways. right? You can start with a number and try to count up by 3 to figure out, okay, what would equal 12. Or if you're giving something away, you can physically get rid of my 3. And if I get rid of my 3, that means I have to subtract it from my whole. So we can do my fact family knowledge of 12 minus 3, and that's going to equal 9. If you take away 3 from your 12, okay, that means that can't be 12 anymore. This is how much tape diagram you have left, and that would have to be equal to 9. 9 plus 3 would give you a total of 12. So it's just visually showing you what you can do. So here's a level one type of question. All right, let's look at this real quick. So I'm going to write a statement. It says, how many points did they score all together? So my statement's going to say, they scored blank points all together. Okay, so I'm going to write down my sides check over here. There we go. So it says, at the Tigers basketball game, three different players scored points. Eduardo scored 12 points, right? Tyrell scored four points. And Chandler scored five points. How many points did they score all together? Okay, all together tells me I'm bringing things together. This is going to be a part whole model. So I'm going to draw my part whole model. Okay, just make it kind of nice and big right here. And I know that at first, Eduardo scored 12. Now, you want to show the relationship between the numbers. Okay, so you can't say 12 is this big and 4 is that big. That's not going to work when you do your part whole models. You have to kind of understand what's happening. 12 is the most anybody scored. So 12 is going to be the biggest piece of this. Okay, So if I you know, made 12 like this, all right, I'm going to label that with Eduardo. Then I know Tyrell scored 4. So 4 is going to be 
you know, smaller than 12, so we put it about right here, and four is how much Tyrell scored, and then Chandler scored five. Now, you want to know how much they scored all together. You want to bring these all together to find the total. So my part whole model shows me, okay, you know all the parts. Now all you need to do is add them together to figure out how big your tape diagram is, right? So I'm just going to do it one piece at a time. 12 plus 4 be 16, all right? Then if I add 5 to that, okay, so now I know that, make that blue for a second. So now I know this part of my tape diagram is 16, but you want to know the whole thing, so you have to add that 5 to it. And you can count on your fingers. However you want to solve it's fine. This is just showing you what to do. Now you know you need to add those together, make this red. So now you know that this entire bar model, okay, or tape diagram, is equal to 21. They scored 21 points all together. So we can use this part whole model to sh represent when we bring parts together. Let's try a level two question now. So it says, at the Tigers basketball game, Eduardo and Tyrell scored any points. Eduardo scored 12, the team scored 19. How many points did Tyrell score? So if I'm doing my sides check strategy, okay, my statement's going to say Tyrell scored blank points. So I'm looking back for anything about points. At the Tigers basketball game, only they scored points. Eduardo scored 12. The whole team scored 19, so you're looking for how many Tyrell scored. So I know that this is a part whole model, okay? So let me draw my part whole model right here, okay? I know the entire team scored 19. So that's the total of all my players add together. That's how big this tape diagram is. Now I know 12 is less than 19, but it's still pretty big. So I do that about right here. So Eduardo scored 12, okay? That means Tyrell had to score the most because it said only Eduardo and Tyrell scored. So if you're looking for how many points Tyrell scored, right, and the team scored 19, really what you're trying to solve is 12 plus something gives you a total of 19. That's what my tape diagram is showing me. So again, two different ways to do this. You could start at 12 and count up in your head or on your fingers or on your paper until you get 19 and come up with the answer 7. Or if you want to get rid of the 12 right here and get left with this missing piece, You'd have to subtract that from the total. So if I take my fact family knowledge and subtract that, if I want to get rid of the 12 to find out my missing piece right here, 19 minus the 12 I'm taking away leaves me with 7. So Tyrell had to score 7 points. Okay, this is our last one. This is a level 3 question, okay? And so my uh, question says, how many points did the rest of the team score? So my statement's going to say... Okay, so I'm looking for anything about points and anything about the team. So at the Tigers basketball game, the team scored 19 points. Okay, got it. Eduardo scored 12 points. Tyrell scored 3 points. How many points did the rest of the team score? So I know that I'm adding things together to try to get 19. Sorry, I forgot to do my sides check right here. I did my statement. I've identified. Based on the information, I know I'm doing a part whole model. Okay, so I'm going to draw my part whole model. Again, I know the entire team scored 19, okay? I know now that Eduardo scored, Tyrell scored, and the rest of the team had to score some. So, Eduardo scored 12, okay, that's an E. Tyrell scored 3, 3 is a lot smaller than 12, so I got to make that piece a little bit smaller, right? Because I'm showing the relationship between the numbers. And that means the rest of the team scored some. You're looking for how many the rest of the team scored. So the first thing you want to do is you want to combine what you know. You want to, okay, I know these two numbers, so how big, of my, how big is that part of my tape diagram? When you add that together, that's 15, okay? Well, okay, 15 plus my leftovers, or my rest, is going to equal 19, okay? Well, to find this piece, this red piece right here, okay, you could start at 15 and then add until you get to 19 and get the answer 4, right? Or... You could get rid of this 15, okay, by subtracting from your 19 and figure out what you have left. So you could take your 19, you could get rid of the 15 that you already know to figure out this missing piece of your tape diagram, and obviously that would still be 4. So either way works. If you draw your visual model, you can then do it either way. So the rest of the team had to score 4 points. As you get into this, again, this might be confusing at first. This was just a quick lesson. 
you're going to have to practice and practice and practice and get better and get better and better. But remember three things. Label your tape diagrams. Be neat. And it's okay to fail as long as you learn from it, right? If you're failing at something, that's good because you should be learning from it. And the next time you do it, you continue to get better. That's how you get good at anything. Thank you so much for checking us out today. We really appreciate you. We appreciate you wanting to be great at math and join us on this adventure. Check out all our, all our other songs and lessons. Again, thank you so much. Please hit the subscribe button. Instructed Beats, out.